Tesla owner shares details of anti-Cybertruck incident. A Tesla owner and Cybertruck farmer has shared a short video showing the aftermath of a frightening incident that seemed to have been partly caused by a motorist's disapproval of the all-electric pickup truck. The time may be right to call for parties with strong feelings towards the Cybertruck to tone down their sentiments. Braden Smith, who runs a TikTok channel about his family's farm in Idaho, has garnered quite a following on social media by showing how he uses his Cybertruck as a regular farm vehicle. In previous videos, the Tesla owner noted that the all-electric pickup truck has been taking the daily punishment of regular farm work really well. Luckily everyone was safe, but I'm so tired of people acting stupid over a damn vehicle simply existing. Made this video shortly after confirming they were fine. I get it's trendy to voice your opinions about Tesla Elon Musk and the Cybertruck, but it's getting out of hand. As noted by Smith in a recent video, however, some motorists' feelings about the Cybertruck may be getting too much, while he was reportedly getting ready to load his boat up on his vehicle. Another motorist driving a conventional pickup truck seemed to get quite sensitive about the presence of his Cybertruck. The motorist allegedly went wide open throttle, resulting in the pickup's trailer hitting a tree. The driver reportedly overcorrected and hit a boulder, resulting in the truck falling down a ravine, trailer and boat and all. I just want to be clear in case this gets out of hand here, he wasn't cutting anyone off. He went wide open throttle trying to prove a damn point when I was getting ready to load my boat up. Trailer hit a tree, he overcorrected, hit a boulder, then went down. Fortunately, the Tesla owner noted that the occupants of the pickup truck were safe despite the incident, though he highlighted that the trend of hating on the Cybertruck, some of which he has experienced firsthand, is getting out of hand. When lives are put at risk because of a vehicle simply existing, after all, then one could argue that things have definitely gotten too far. I'm not going to say much else because I truly do feel bad for them, and they're extremely lucky it wasn't worse. I can be open to the subtle trendiness behind revving at me at a stoplight etc. But the constant middle fingers, yelling, erratic driving behaviors, come on, in a way, the negative sentiments surrounding the Cybertruck are unsurprising. The vehicle looks polarizing already, just by its looks. And the vehicle is created by a company led by Elon Musk, who is extremely polarizing today himself. Mainstream media reports about the Cybertruck have also been quite negative, And social media has tolerated, if not promoted the practice of users expressing their dislike of the vehicle in an open manner. Source, reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Teslarati.